Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very good. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. What's new? I am free, teacher. <laughs> Excellent. That's the microphone. Yeah, but the camera is still failing. And will now be used. Okay. Not even kidding. Zoom won't detect, won't detect the camera. I think it has to be, it's a little crazy, but okay, there it goes. Let's begin. Good evening, everyone. This is the English for Work program, beginner for. Welcome to your English class. Today is Friday, October the 13th. This is class 20. Tonight, we're going to be working on time clauses, time clauses. This is the general objective, this is the specific objective, and this is the class objective. Participants will be able to describe how to fill out a form correctly using time classes. Okay. For the agenda, we have logical results, encuesta de satisfacción at 820, okay. So please remind me in case I forget, it's going to be at 20 and uh, present time closes. Then practice in review. Um, I want to congratulate some people that have already finished the platform. Okay, excellent. Some people, uh, well, couldn't do it. Today is the last day. I expected everybody to have finished, but unfortunately, it isn't so. Let's go to the attendance. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Edgar Edilson Reyes. 
present teacher. Excellent, nice. Edwin Alexis Pérez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Jonathan Stanley. Excellent, nice. José Daniel Cermen. Present teacher. Jonathan present. Jonathan, okay. José Ernesto Alemán. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Germán González. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Miguel Ángel Cortés. Present. Nice. Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. And Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Okay. Uh, before we move, I would like to congratulate some specific people. Okay. Blanca del Carmen Quintanilla, Carlos Amilcar Campos. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. eh, Edwin Alexis Pérez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Jonathan Stanley Pérez, José Ernesto Alemán, Mario Cristóbal Chinchilla, no, sorry, Quintanilla, Mauricio Antonio Rivera, Miguel Ángel Cortés, Noé Aníbal González, San Sergio Adolfo Hernández. All of these people have finished, well, have completed, have completed the uh -huh. yes. I've been in teacher. Sorry, Gabby. No. No, your platform shows me that you have 57 as a final grade because you didn't do the you didn't do the final exam. You did um uh, let me see the homework, and you have as an average. As an average in homework, you have because you did 60, you have 60 in the in homework number four. So you have 90 as a as an average for homework. And you have the, the midterm, you finished, but you didn't do the final. The final is 50%. So you have 57 as a grade. Yeah. So uh, that's what the platform tells me. Okay, so the final exam. Uh, someone is speaking. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Other, other microphone is open, teacher. Yeah. I think Miguelito's microphone was open. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, somebody sent me a message. Teacher, I finished. But I checked. I went to the platform and I checked. It doesn't appear finished. The people that didn't finish are Don Adán Antonio Ramírez, Cecilia Maribel Alemán, Edgar Edilson Reyes, Gabriel, Gabriela Yamilez Ramírez, José Daniel Cermeño, Andy Natalia Sánchez, y Mario Germán González. Perdón, teacher, esos son los que estamos pendientes del examen final, ¿verdad? Final. Final exam. 
y Correcto. tarea, tarea número cuatro en algunos casos. Correcto, sí, finalizo hoy. El curso terminó ya, hoy termina el curso. Correcto, pero termino en unos minutitos. Ok, porque eso tenía que haber sido ayer, ¿se acuerdan que les dije que ayer lo hicieran? Porque ya sí queda todo cerrado el día de hoy. Ok, bueno, well, anyhow. Ok, let's go to the attendance. Well, this is the attendance. Let's go to the class. <clears throat> okay, so uh, after class, work on that. And uh, tomorrow, voy a entregar el curso mañana, no hoy. Ok, lo quería entregar hoy. Pero lo voy a entregar mañana por los que no han terminado. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're, you're welcome. Ok, let's begin. Sorry, Gaby. No se ponga tristita. Lo puede hacer después de clase, hoy. Okay. Para que tenga buena nota y lo logre pasar. Bueno, todos los que no han terminado, después de clase lo hacen. Tienen, de todas formas, tienen toda la noche. Voy a, voy a presentar el curso ya mañana, ya terminadito todo. Si no lo, lo, lo lograron hacer. Ok, okay. Let's, let's begin. Uh, logical results. We're going to begin with logical results. These are some of the things. Maybe you remember that yesterday we said if present, present, right? If someone pushes you, you get angry, right? Someone pushes you, you get angry. Uh, if you don't eat, you feel hungry. If you don't eat, you feel hungry. If you wet, get wet, because it's raining, you get sick. You get a cold. Okay, so this is logical result. Here we have some other examples. If you treat people badly, Nobody will like you. If you get drunk, you will get into trouble. If you hate others, you will get poisoned. Okay. If you don't apologize, you will never fit things. If you don't like people, live in a cave. If you treat me well, I'll be back. If you don't like lemonade, don't plant lemons. Okay, this is like this now. What's the difference between this and the other? You will study this in the next course, I guess. If present, will plus the verb. This is first type of condition. This is zero condition and this is first type. The first type talks about the future, possible in the future. This talks about laws. The results are always the same. If I take the bus late, I get to work late. If I get up late, I get to work late. So just like that. And this one, uh, if I see you tomorrow, I will pay you tomorrow. Okay. This is first, first type of condition. This is the first type, and this is the zero. But the one that is in the, in the platform is the zero, okay? Let's see. We're going to practice this conversation. Allergies are logic, aren't they? Practice the following dialogue with a partner. Lina, do you think allergies are real? Of course they are, only that they are new. For example, my grandparents didn't suffer from them. My grandparents either. It probably depends on the food that we eat or on the contamination around us. I guess you're right. Both have an influence on allergies. 
are you allergic to anything? I am. I'm allergic to the dust, to roaches, to some flowers. How about you? Are you allergic to any of these? Yes, also to strawberries, pineapple, and citric fruit. I guess we are both in trouble, aren't we? Yeah, I guess we are. Okay. Lina, do you think allergies are real? Of course they are, only that they are new. For example, my grandparents didn't suffer from them. My grandparents either. It probably depends on the food that we eat or on the contamination around us. I guess you're right. Both have an influence on allergies. Are you allergic to anything? I am. I'm allergic to the dust, to roaches, to some flowers. How about you? Are you allergic to any of these? Yes, also to strawberries, pineapples, and citric fruit. I guess we're both in trouble, aren't we? Yeah, I guess we are. Do you have any questions about the words here? Ladies and gentlemen, questions? No questions, did you? No questions. Let's go to the, and we're going to have five minutes, five minutes to practice the conversation. The groups are opening, please join. Richard. Okay. Thank you, Don Daniel. Okay. Empecemos entonces practicando aquí. El... Okay. I am. Oh. I am. <laughs> Lina, do you think allergy are real? Of course, they are. Only that they are new. For example, my grandparents didn't suffer from them. My grandparents either. It probably depends on the food that we eat or no, or on the contamination around us. I guess you're right. Both have an influence on allergies. Are you allergic to anything? I am. I am allergic to the dust, to roach, to some flowers. How about you? Are you allergic to any of these? Yes, also to strawberry, pineapple, and citrus food, root. Right. I guess we are both in trouble, aren't we? Yes, I guess we are. Thank you, Don Daniel. Okay, thank you. Dos compañeritos más, Aníbal. Ok, I'm ready. They are, only that they are new. For example, my grandparents didn't suffer from them. My grandparents either. It probably depends on the food that we eat or on the contamination around us. Around us. I guess. You're right, but have an influence on allergies. Are you allergic to anything? I am. I'm allergic to the dust, the roaches, to some flowers. How, how about you? Are you allergic to any of this? Yes. Also to strawberries, pineapple, and citric fruit. I guess we are both in trouble, 
aren't we? Yeah, I guess we are. Thank you. Okay, okay thank my you. Dear Nitos, let's go to the main session. Okay. We're going to begin with encuesta de satisfacción. So let's begin from the beginning. Como es tradición, vamos a poner el video que siempre vemos en este caso. Empecemos con el video. Okay. Let's begin. Um. Hey, let's begin. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a inglés corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocarlo. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. 
Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si no las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y... Um, vamos a ir a la encuesta. Todos tienen... Todos tienen la encuesta. Todos recibieron el mensaje. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. teacher. Ok, just in case. No, no lo he recibido, teacher. Lo voy a pegar en, en el chat. Estoy buscándola ahorita, pero no, no la tengo. Lo voy a pegar en el chat de, de Zoom. Bueno. Para en que... el WhatsApp la han enviado. Si pero no me por... equivoco. A mí ah, me sale. Yes, yes, en WhatsApp, yes, yes, en okay. WhatsApp. Thank you, Gaby. Ok. De todas Muy formas, bien. ahí está en el chat. Yes. Ok. It's in the chat, so you can take a look at it. Ok, angelitos, let's continue. Let's go to the, let's click on the link and let's open. Okay. I'm going to share this. Okay. Number one. Number uno. Vamos a hacerlo en español porque así nos, lo, nos han pedido que lo hagamos. Entonces, que para que todo quede claro y transparente. Okay. Número uno. Ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Será proporcionado por el proveedor. Puede copiar y pegarlo. Eh, es esto. En el caso de que ustedes no lo tengan, lo voy a copiar yo ahí. Y si ven que no lo tienen, ustedes me dicen. Esa es la orden de inicio. AC29750-0331. Ok. Cuando ya lo hayan completado, me dicen listo. Listo. Ok, listo. Listo, tío. Excelente. Ahora vamos con algo en lo que ustedes son expertos. Su nombre completo. Ok. Por favor, pongan su nombre completo. Ok. Nombre completo sería primero 
en el caso del nombre completo. No, obviamente no ponen el nombre aquí, pero me imagino que primero es el nombre y después el apellido. Entonces, ponen su nombre completo y después su correo electrónico. Si necesitan ayuda con el correo electrónico, me dicen. Porque, por ejemplo, yo tengo como 10 correos. 12 creo que tengo. Entonces puede hacer que ustedes no recuerden qué correo utilizaron. Cuando hayan completado la 2 y la 3, me lo indican, por favor. Listo. Listo. Excelente. Ok, listo. Ok, sí. listo. Todos tienen su correo electrónico y nombre completo. Ok. Ahora vamos con el número de celular. Todos tienen su número de celular. ¿Recuerdan qué número dieron a la compañía? Yes. yes. Listo. Listo. Excelente. Ahora marcamos el sexo. En este caso okay. sería el género. Vamos a ver, eh, ponen femenino o masculino de acuerdo a cada uno. Ahora vamos con el departamento de residencia. En la pestañita que aparece aquí, le damos clic, nos aparece un menú contextual. Vamos a bajar y buscamos el departamento donde residimos, donde vivimos. Y solo lo marcamos. Le damos un clic sobre, sobre el nombre. Ahora vamos al municipio de residencia. En ese caso, ustedes tienen que escribir el nombre del municipio. En mi caso, yo pondría San Salvador el departamento, San Salvador el municipio. En el caso de ustedes, ustedes sabrán cuál es el municipio. Listo. Listo. Ok. Departamento y municipio completados. Vamos. Empresa donde trabaja. Si necesitan ayuda con la empresa o el nombre completo de la empresa donde trabajan, me dicen. Edwin, necesita ayuda. Teacher, eh, solamente una consulta. Este, con respecto a la empresa, quisiera saber si, si la terminación es ese punto A de CB o solamente eh, International Control Rigs. Okay, con gusto, permítame, ya le digo. Vamos a ver. Se llama International Con Control o Control Risk Group. SA de CB. International sí, teacher, Control Risk Group. SA de CB. Uh -huh. No hay problema. Con gusto. ¿Alguien más necesita ayuda con eso? Yo, con, yo porque acabo de entrar nada más con, con la primera pregunta. Ah, con, necesita ayuda con la primera pregunta. Uh -huh. um, el, el, el lo que aparece aquí. Este. Se lo sí. voy a copiar en el chat para que solo le, le dé clic y lo... En el uh -huh. chat de, de Zoom. Para que solo uh -huh. lo, lo pegue. Podría volver a mostrar el, es, el, el, lo de las... Este es el uno. Ajá. Alguien más, ese es el número de orden de inicio. Ajá. Lo de la... 
sí, quería... Que salía. Sí, Quiero podría ver volver. el nombre Ajá. de la compañía. Sí. Ajá. A ver, Blanquita, se tiene Asociación Ágape de El Salvador. Gracias, teacher. Ok, no hay problema. ¿Alguien más necesite, que necesite ayuda con el nombre? Teacher. Aníbal, le saludo. Sí, díganme. Eh, sí, sé que yo pongo CEPAE, pero ahí estoy viendo que tengo que ponerlo completo, así como aparece en el listado. Fíjense que preferiblemente como aparece aquí, proyección okay. y administración empresa, empresarial El Salvador Limitada o LTDA de CB. Uh -huh. Permítanme. Cópielo, no hay problema. O si quieres se lo pego en el chat. Ya estuvo, te eches, gracias. Ah, gracias. ok, de acuerdo. ¿Alguien más que necesite ayuda con el nombre de la empresa? Si no lo pueden ver, aquí lo pueden ver. Ok. ¿Estamos todos ya listos con eso? ¿O todavía estamos copiando? Todavía estamos eh, escribiendo, Tichi. No hay problema, no hay problema. Hay más tiempo que vivir. Yo, eh, hey. yo, yo, yo creo que ya lo terminé. Eh. Ah, permítame, no lo voy a enviar todavía. Okay. No lo voy a enviar todavía. Y vamos todos juntitos, pasito que yo doy, pasito que ustedes dan. Por favor, son las indicaciones que nos han dado. Que paso que yo doy, paso que ustedes dan. Pero lo voy esperando. ¿Ya todos terminaron lo de la compañía? Sí, teacher. Sí. Excelente. Ahora vamos con el, nom con el nombre del proveedor que le capacitó. Le damos a la pestañita y nos deslizamos hacia abajo. Y buscamos inglés corporativo, Regal International, ¿okay? inglés corporativo. ¿Verdad? Está después de la Escuela Interamericana de Servicios Educativos y antes del Instituto Tecnológico de Chalatenango, ICHA. ¿okay? Cuando ya lo tengan marcado, me avisan. Ok, ya está. Excelente. Ahora vamos al nombre del curso. El nombre del curso es Inglés Principiante, módulo 4. Lo voy a copiar así, tal cual, y le voy a eliminar las comillas. Porque va sin comillas. ¿okay? Este es el nombre. Inglés principiante, módulo 4. Ok. Ya copiamos ese, ¿verdad? Estamos listos ya con eso. Vamos al siguiente. Número 11. Valores los siguientes aspectos relativos, quiere decir relativos, relativos al curso. Dice insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. Ustedes van a marcar el que a ustedes les parezca. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? Teacher, si alguien lo está haciendo en el celular, tiene que moverlo hacia la derecha, izquierda, porque si no, no le van a aparecer las... Eh, no le aparecen todas las opciones, ¿verdad? Ajá, Gracias, para que vaya a fallar. Ok, excelente. Thank you. 
Entonces, vamos a marcar todas las opciones. O sea, perdón, las opciones que sean necesarias. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? Excelente, bueno, aceptable, deficiente o insuficiente. ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Con la salvedad de que no podemos utilizar videos de ningún tipo ni audios de ningún tipo, ¿verdad? Con esa salvedad, con lo limitado que, que estamos, ¿cómo considera que estamos en ese caso? Usted marca la opción que usted considere. Una vez haya marcado, me dicen listos. Y pasamos a la 12. Listo, teacher. Listo, excelente. Vamos a la Listo. 12. Perfecto. Vamos a la 12. ¿En qué fecha? inició el curso. Aquí le damos clic yes, al calendario. Ahora le damos clic al calendario que está al final del espacio. Teacher, cerca de los planetas. No, el, aquí en el espacio este. Ok. Vamos a ver. Dice que iniciamos el 18 de septiembre. 18 de septiembre. Y finalizamos hoy, 13 de octubre. Entonces vamos a marcar 18 de septiembre. Como es, aparece octubre 23, le vamos a dar a la flechita para arriba. Llegamos a septiembre y marcamos lunes 18. Y esa sería la fecha. Fecha de inicio. 18 de septiembre. En mi caso, como la tengo en inglés, me aparece 918 2023. Para ustedes, si lo tienen en español, sería... 18 del 9 del 2023. La finalización del curso es el día de hoy. Entonces solo le damos clic sobre el 13 que está azulito. Y ya nos aparece 10, 13, 2023. O digamos décimo mes, treceavo día, 2023. Teacher, disculpe, ¿cuál sí. es el nombre del curso? Nombre del curso es Inglés Principiante Módulo 4. Inglés Principiante Módulo 4. Principiante Módulo 4. Bueno, ahora en este voy a desplegarles una... Un Pero, que el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó es Inglés Corporativo. Sí, Regal Inglés Regal. Corporativo Regal International. Uh -huh. Con uh -huh. ese. Ahora, en el 14, tengo que leerles, esto lo, lo estoy leyendo. Eh, no son mis palabras, pero eh, hablan, bueno, estoy de acuerdo en esto. Dice... En el, en el punto 14, en el punto 14, cada uno de ustedes deberá marcar satisfecho o insatisfecho. Aparecen las dos opciones. En este caso, aclaro que el punto no se refiere a cómo se siente usted consigo mismo por haber completado o no el curso, por haber completado o no todas las tareas y todas las evaluaciones. Y tampoco se refiere a que no le parecen cosas como el manual o el hecho de mantener la cámara encendida, ¿verdad? O alguna acción de sus compañeros. Este punto solamente se refiere a la pedagogía de la clase. Se refiere a cómo he impartido la clase académicamente y a cómo nuestro equipo administrativo les ha apoyado en cada uno de los procesos, ¿verdad? Usted puede seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones, satisfecho o insatisfecho. 
Pero salve aclarar, o cabe aclarar, que si usted toma la opción de insatisfecho, está diciéndole adiós al inglés corporativo. Porque lo que Insaforp entiende que usted pone insatisfecho, quiere decir, no estoy satisfecho con la compañía que me está impartiendo las clases, buscaré otra compañía. Entonces, Insaforp ya no lo inscribe con nosotros, sino que lo inscribe en alguna otra academia. Entonces, eh, insatisfecho sería adiós, ¿verdad? Eh, satisfecho quiere decir que el próximo curso quiere continuar con nosotros. Entonces, no es una coacción y no quisiera que entendieran que le estamos diciendo, miren, solo tienen una opción, satisfecho, ¿verdad? No, es satisfecho y satisfecho. ¿vale? Ustedes dicen, no estoy satisfecho. Entonces, Safor dice, ah, ok, no, estoy satisf no está satisfecho. Lo vamos a colocar en una escuela donde se sienta satisfecho. Entonces, lo sacan de aquí y lo ponen en aquella escuela. Por esa razón, usted decida qué quiere poner, satisfecho o insatisfecho. Insatisfecho dice adiós. Satisfecho dice seguimos el próximo curso. ¿Verdad? Esa es la aclaración que es necesario hacer. Ok, seguimos con la encuesta. Entonces ustedes aquí marquen de acuerdo a su criterio, ¿verdad? Y el 15, mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Hay ofimática, puede estudiar, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Excel, PowerPoint o cualquiera de los programas de Microsoft. Okay. Eh, luego, en el número 15, teacher. En el, nuevo, en el número 15 sería un curso. Solo que, uno. <risas> dice aquí otros cursos, entonces si usted conoce varios cursos y está interesada en ellos, puede escribir los nombres aquí. Ok. ¿Verdad? No sé qué, en qué curso ustedes podrían estar interesados. Hay, creo, cursos de cocina. Hay cursos eh, de administración de algunas cosas, pero yo no sé los nombres de los cursos, no tengo el list, listado, pero sí sé que hay de ofimática. A mí me han ofrecido cursos de PowerPoint, de Word, de Excel, eh, no me acuerdo de cuál otro, de Microsoft. Entonces, creo, no me acuerdo. Pero eso esos sí me acuerdo que me los han ofrecido. Entonces... Ustedes pueden poner alguno de esos si les interesa, ¿verdad? Ok, y en lo, eso sería en los cursos. En los comentarios, ustedes escriben lo que ustedes quieran o lo dejan en blanco. Comentario es opcional. Si usted quiere, escribe algo. Si usted no necesita escribir nada, solo lo deja en blanco. Ok, ¿verdad? Si ya terminamos todo, le damos clic a enviar, en inglés submit. Le damos clic en enviar. Vamos a recibir un mensaje. A ese mensaje que recibamos, le vamos a tomar una captura. Y a la hora de compartir la captura en WhatsApp, en el grupo de WhatsApp, vamos a ponerle nuestro nombre en la base, que como es una foto, puede ponerle un comentario de, en el campo. Entonces le pone el comentario, de comentario sería su nombre. Entonces, y lo envío. Así yo cuento cuántos tomaron la, la encuesta y vemos cuántos faltan. ¿Eh? Somos 22. Problema, como lo estoy haciendo desde mi teléfono, le di enviar pero se me reinició, no puede hacer la captura. 
pero sí la hice. Sí lo envió. Sí lo envié y salió al final, pero cuando le iba a hacer captura, como que se reinició la página. Pero sí me apareció. A mí el... también, dice, se me borró Ya. todo, ahorita se me borró todo. No, a mí no se me borró, perdón, no se me borró, se fue y me apareció el, el lo que están viendo los compañeros, vea. Ajá. Pero iba a ser eh, screenshot, se volvió a formar, o sea, se reinició la página, pero ya se había ido. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿cómo hago? <ríe> la vuelvo a hacer. No, la encuesta solo es una vez. Ah, vaya. Eh, Pero ya lo envié. y yo sé, ya le envió. Ajá. Fíjense que Pero allí, estaba allí, acá. yo no tengo una respuesta para eso. No le sabría decir qué sucede o qué puede suceder en ese caso. Ajá. Pero ponga, ponga en el comentario de, en el grupo de WhatsApp que usted ya la hizo y que la mandó, pero no pudo sacarle la, no pudo sa sacar la captura. No sé qué le dirán en, como de todas formas, en Safor ya la recibió. Sí, Gladys. Gladys tenía su mano levantadita. Eh, micrófono. Gladys, su micrófono. No te he por error, se me levantó la mano. Pero no. Ah, ok. Sí, a mí me pasa a veces. Son para arriba. Sí. Ok, bueno, no hay problema. Eh, Giselle, ¿ya no tiene dudas? Voy a ver el WhatsApp. ¿Cuántos lo han mandado? Se la envié. Ok. Me aparece... Y se la, la respuesta se ha enviado solamente, si sí, no apareció, no apareció que lo hayan recibido ellos, pero sí apareció que ya la envió. Eh, Mario, Quintanilla, Gladys Uvidia Nieto, Mauricio Antonio Rivera, Mario Germán González, Edwin Alfredo Alcón, Jonathan Stanley Pérez, Edwin Alexis Pérez. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Eh, Blanqui, le aparece el comentario. Eh, y Aníbal López. Ok. Esos son los que tengo. Quiero contarlos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, diez. Y somos por lo menos dieciocho que tienen que haberlo enviado. Cuando menos 18, o sea que me faltarían 8 más. Ah, alguien más, serían 11. Faltan 7. We're missing 7 people. Ok. Ajá, 2 más, 13. Nos faltan 4 por lo menos, o 5. Eh, Daniel Enrique nos mandó una foto, era como... Lo mandó como documento, sería como foto. Pero igual, tenemos Esmeralda. Okay. ¿Qué serían? 15. Teacher, yo no puedo tomar screenshot. Eso depende del, del modelo de teléfono, por eso no le puedo explicar cómo, fíjese. Porque el mío es un Samsung Es que, es que AO3. lo, lo que pasa es que el botón al celular se le abre, ¿no? Pero ya terminé la encuesta, voy a ver si tomo una foto con otro celular. Ok, eso está bien, a dónde parece. Yo estoy presionando el de bloquear y el de bajar volumen, pero no funciona. Eh, 
Gisela me pregunta si la mía con la mía con todos. Uh, creo que no les dije que es el nombre completo. En el video decía que el nombre completo, pero creo que yo no se lo dije. Entonces, algunos solo me pusieron el nombrecito así, un nombre y un apellido. Pero debe ser suficiente. Y algunos, bueno, está bien, yo creo que ahí estamos. Sí, Gisela, me aparece el suyo también, ¿ok? Ok, entonces, gracias. Entonces estamos con 16, creo. Uno, dos, tres. Ustedes me ayudan contando, tal vez yo conté mal. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce. 15, 16, 17, serían 17 los que han, los que han llegado. Somos 22. Ahorita la envío ya. Ok. Somos 22, pero por lo menos hay cuatro que no, no terminaron. Bueno, entonces sigamos con la clase porque we need to continue with the class. Okay, thank you, Gaby. I, I got it. Okay. 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 Okay, let's continue. Okay, time clauses. Time clauses. That's preparation, present time clause. The purpose is to discuss time relationships. Hello, do you have any tickets left for the concert tonight? Mm, let me check. Yes, there are a few tickets. Great. How much are they? The best seats are 85 each. That's very expensive. Are there any cheaper ones? We have two at $60. They are near the back of the stadium. That's fine. I'll take those, please. Certainly, that's $120, please. Here you are. Thank you. Please enter your, your PIN when you're ready. Thank you. Here's your receipt, and here are your tickets. Doors open at 7.45 p.m. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, again. Hello, do you have any tickets left for the concert tonight? Mm, let me check. Yes, there are a few tickets. Great. How much are they? The best seats are $85 each. That's very expensive. Are there any cheaper ones? We have two at $60. They are near the back of the stadium. That's fine. I'll take those, please. Certainly. That's $120, please. Here you are. Thank you. Please enter your PIN when you're ready. Thank you. Here's your receipt. And here are your tickets. Doors open at 7.45 p.m. Have a good night. Thank you. Hey, do you have any questions about the, the conversation? About any, any words that you don't know?
No question, teacher. Excellent. Then let's go and practice the conversation. Okay. The groups are opening. Please join. Lanky is in group one. Gisela is in group two. Teacher, uh, I am in the hospital with my. Oh, you're in the hospital right now. Um, uh, I am. No, no, solo este. No, solo voy a escuchar. Sí, pero entre al grupo hoy, aunque no practique, okay. porque así escucha. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Y solo borro la raíz y le cambio. Oops. Hello, teacher. Daniel, uh, sharing, sharing hello, screen. Hello, please, my please. friend. Ahorita, please, please, please. Quiero ver. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Bueno. Volunteer, o oh, usted y yo. Let's go. Ok, pues go ahead. Ah, ok. Hello, do you have any tickets left for the concert tonight? Um, let me check. Yes, there are a few tickets. Great. How much are there? Are they? The best seats are $85 each. That's very expensive. Are there any cheaper ones? We have to at sixty dollars. They're near the back of the stadium. That's fine. I'll take I'll take those, please. Certainly, that's one hundred twenty dollars, please. Here you are. Thank you. Please enter your pin when you're ready. Thank you. Here's your receipt and here are your ticket. Doors open at 7.45 p.m. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Next. Edgar. Yes. ¿Alguien más que le ayude a Edgar? Yo. Mario. Mario. Mario y Edgar. Ok. Hello. Mario, you are William. Okay. Hello, do you have any tickets left for the concert tonight? Mm, let me check. Yes, there are a few tickets. Wait, how much are they? The best seats are eight. $85 each. Um, that's, that's very expensive. Mm. Are there any cheaper ones? We have two at $60. They are near a back of the stadium. That's fine. I'll take those, please. Essentially, uh, that's one hundred and twenty dollars, please. Here you are. Thank you. Please enter your pin when you are ready. Thank you. Here's your receipt and here are your, your ticket. They're open at 7.45 p.m. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Gladys. 
que they are near they are near the back of the stadium. That's fine. I'll take those, please. Certainly, that one hundred twenty three. Here you are. Thank you. Please enter your team when you're ready. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Here you receive and here are your tickets. You're open at 7 45 p.m. How I would like. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Someone else? Me? Me? You are star, Jonathan. Okay. Hello. Do you have any ticket left for the concert tonight? Mm, let me check. Yes, there are a few tickets. Great. How much are they? The best seats are a $85 each. That's very expensive. Are there any cheaper ones? We have to uh, $60. They're, they're near the back of the stadium. That's fine. I take those, please. Certainly. That's one hundred twenty dollars, please. Here you are. Thank you. Please enter your pin when you're ready. Thank you. Here's your receipt, and here are your tickets. Doors open at quarter to eight p.m. Have a good night. Thank you, Mauricio. Very Thank good. you. Okay, let's go to the main session. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my dear ones, let's see. There are two things that we need to identify in this form. Okay, they're talking about frame materials for the first floor. And it says that the two things that we need are how many items are they buying? Here it says, supposed to say they. It says the. But we all make mistakes, right? So it's only a... Uh... Just a simple mistake. Okay. How many items are they buying? Let's see. Units. One, one. Two uh, items. How many items are they buying? Two, two, two items. items, right? Okay, what's the total price? <laughs> Six thousand. Four hundred fifteen and twenty cent mm -hmm. dollar. Exactly. So okay. we're going to write that.
Okay, that's the total price. Now let's let's continue. Time clauses. Time clauses. Okay. Um, I'm going to read the examples, but I would like to mark something important. First, let me mark these things in yellow. These words that I'm marking are called the close markers. Okay. You say, teacher, what's the name? Close markers. But the grammar name or the gram the name in grammar is subordinate. Subordinators or subordinating conjunctions. They are conjunctions because they connect, right? They connect. So because they connect, they are subordinators. Mm -hmm. They are conjunctions. So, okay, if you see, all of them are time close markers until it's a stop of time. Stop. Hasta, right? Stop. Until. As soon as means immediately after. Immediately after is as soon as. As soon as means immediately after. Before, okay, I'm going to see like here. A, B, C. A is before B and C is after B. Right? After, before. Okay, let's see if we if we have it clear. Which is before? 1975, sorry. <gasps> sorry, what's yes, before? Sir. Thank you. What's before, 1945 or 1975? Before 1945. Excellent. And what is after? After 1975. Okay. Five AM. Five PM, which is before. In the same day. In the same day, not connecting one day and the other day. No. Okay. In line. Which is before. 5 a.m. or 5 p.m.? Before 5, 5 a.m. 5 a.m., right? After is 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Exactly. So we have before and after. Until stop. Like, I eat until I'm satisfied. I eat until I'm satisfied. <laughs> Sometimes, no. I eat until my dish is empty, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but you say until, stop. Okay. Um, some people study until dinner. They study until dinner. So, what's the meaning? They stop studying when it's time for dinner. So they study until dinner. Okay, we study until 10 p.m., 
right? We study until 10 p.m. What's the meaning? At 10 p.m., we finish. At 10 p.m., we finish. We stop. Okay. So these are the four that appear. Of course, there are others. And we will see the others. Okay. For example, we have when. And we have while. While. We have when and we have while. Okay. Um, let's see. When, what's the meaning of when? When, when, cuando, cuando, in while, mientras, mientras. Mm -hmm. Exactly. These are close markers. So let's list the close markers that we have. After. Before, uh, until, when, while, as soon as, as soon as is immediately after, or like we say, Immediately after means tan pronto como, right? As soon as, as soon as, and after, before, etc. Okay. Let's see the examples. Before you start, before you start writing the purchase order, you have to check every product. After they pay, they can start placing the packages on the truck. You are authorized to change items until we check the purchase order. So means you can change the packages, but when we begin checking the purchase order, you cannot change anymore. As soon as we register the order, in our system, you can take it home. As soon as we register the order in our system, you can take it home, okay? So, present time clauses. The subordinator, subject, verb, present, etc. Example, subordinator. As soon as subject, I, verb, okay, as soon as I get up, as soon as I get up, comma, I take a shower. As soon as I get up, I take As soon as I get up, I take a shower. What's the meaning? I don't wait. I get up, I go to the bathroom, take a shower. As soon as I get up, I take a shower. Later, I eat. After I take a shower, I eat breakfast. Okay. So, this is something like a routine. Let's see. It says, a time clause is a dependent clause. If you say, teacher, what is that? How do you eat it? Don't worry, I'm not going to complicate your life with uh, dependent clauses, independent clauses, etc. So, we're just going to say that it's a time word when, after, as soon as, etc. Time clauses follow their own special rules for tense combinations. Therefore, the correct form 
the correct verb tense in a time clause may be different from what you expect. Okay, so what's, what are we saying? Close marker, subject, verb. Okay. This is what we have. When I get up, after I see you, before you go home, etc. Before you go home. Example. Before you leave. After you eat. As soon as we get, as soon as we get there, okay? So, before you leave, after you eat, as soon as, we don't use will. Will here, before you will leave. Now, before you leave, no will. After you eat, no, after you will eat. So will never comes here. On the other side, you can use present or future. Okay, Check over here. After I get up, I brush my teeth. After I get up, so I get up, I brush my teeth. After I get home, I take off my shoes. As soon as I finish the class, I go to bed. Mm, how nice. As soon as I finish the class, I wait for it to convert. Then when it converts after one hour, I upload it to YouTube. And at midnight or 11.30, I go to bed. So not immediately after the class finishes. <laughs> that would be nice. So. Uh, I won't go to bed until I finish the platform. I brush my teeth as soon as I get up. I take off my shoes after I get home. Before I wake up, I hear the alarm a couple of times. While I cook dinner, she takes her classes. Okay, so these are the examples. What, what can we pay attention in the examples? that we have this, and there is a comma. And then we have the other clause, okay? There is a comma connecting when we begin with a close marker, okay? So over here, a comma connects. So you see, a comma connects. Ah, is it the same for everything? No, for all of them? No, check. This is the connector. Until, as soon as, and after. So they are in the middle. And then you say, teacher, I don't understand. Don't worry, I don't understand you. So check over here. Uh, I'm going to send you this today for you to have. Let's see. Have like this. When I get up, I am still Sleep. Let me change the color. When I get up, I'm still sleepy. You can say the same. I am still sleepy when I get up. Okay, notice the order is this, it doesn't I mean doesn't change the meaning. When I get up, I'm still sleeping. 
I'm still sleepy when I get up. It doesn't change the meaning. You can do it one way or the other. Okay, another example. After I get to work, I start work. After I, after I get to work, I start work. Okay, so I start work. after I get to work. Okay, so after I get to work, I start work. I start work after I get to work. So they are the, they are correct. The two are correct. Okay, excellent. Now let's Let's move. Practice. Use the logic. What's correct? Which of these is correct? I'm going to help you. Let's see over here. Um, let's see. What's correct? Before after, I go to work. After I get up. I go to work. After I get up, I take a shower. Or before I get up, I take a shower. Okay, which of the two sentences is correct? After I first get up, sentence. I take a shower, or before I get up, I take a shower? The first, the first, first sentence. sentence. Yeah, correct, the first sentence. This is correct. The other is wrong. You cannot take a shower in bed, right? So, okay. So you're going to be choosing one correct form, okay? For the moment, yeah, all right, no problem. Later, we're going to say, like, we're going to come to this, okay? This one. Let's go to the groups and let's choose the correct option. Work together, choose the correct option. The groups are open, please join. Hello, Olan. Hello. Hi. The first sentences I think uh, before, but before I go to work, I take a shower. Yes, before I go. Second sentences. Until. 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 Once. Once means una vez. Una vez pague por el material, puede, puede empezar a usarlo. Once. Once. Uh -huh. 
Until you use it in negative, you can't start using the material until you have paid for it. Or until you pay for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your sentence says give the chance change. Before <laughs> no. usted, usted da el vuelto antes de saber cuánto ah, es total. Sí. <laughs> no, <right>. no. <laughs> no. As soon as, as soon as. Don't worry, no, don't worry. No, yo le hago la pregunta para que más o menos <risa> veamos la lógica. Ah, ah, yeah. None of the workers can go. None of the workers. Number seven, Mary only calls us, calls us when, when she needs something. Okay, when. Number eight, you take your time, you do things well. If you take your time, if you, you do things well. If, okay. You... you run people down, you are in a hurry. Hurry. Teacher, what is run people down? Atropellar. Mm -hmm. Run people down is atropellar personas. Run people down. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, if, maybe? If. Yeah. If. Uh -huh. If. You run people down if you are in a hurry. Mm -hmm. mm. And okay. number 10, and... you can go out. As, as until, until, until you finish your until. hunger. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The last. The last yeah. one. Excellent. Let's go to the main session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Angelitos, what do we have in, the, in number one? Before. Before I go to work, I take a shower. Mm -hmm. And number two? Once. Once. Once is una vez haya pagado por material, puede empezar a usarlo, right? So once. Once you pay for the material, you can start using it. Three, give the change as soon as you know what the total is. None of the workers can go. Until they finish the work. Take your umbrella with you. If it rains. In case it rains. In case it rains. In case it rains, take your umbrella. What's the meaning of in case? To be prepared, right? Hey, look, maybe it will rain. Take the umbrella in case it rains, 
right? Okay, number six. Please call me if you need. If you need anything, uh huh. Please call me if you need anything. Mary only calls us when when she needs she something. Needs something. When she needs something. Eight. Uh huh. When you say eight. If you take your time, you do sing well. Uh -huh, exactly. If you take your time, you do things well. Excellent. Number nine. You run people down if you are in a hurry. If you are in a hurry. Run people down, atropellar. Okay, so you run people down if you are in a hurry. Number 10, you can't go out until, hasta que until you finish, finish your, your homework. homework. Can't go out until you finish your homework. Okay, this one you can complete it in, in your house, okay? Now, complete using the correct word, before, after, as soon as, and when. So you have to complete using the necessary things. This one. Example, I get up, I go to the bathroom. You can say, when. When I get up, I go to the bathroom. As soon. As, as unas, no, as unas, no. Okay. So let me make it smaller. As soon as I get up, I go to the bathroom. Or after I get up, I take a shot. Okay, I go to the bathroom. So you can use any of those, the one that you consider correct. Then, you do the same here, complete with the correct form of the verb. Before you go home, please finish an open process. Finish an open process means if you start something, finish it. Before you go home, please finish an open process. So these two, do this. And this, okay? Let's go to the main session, the main session. Let's go to the breakout groups, breakout rooms. The groups are opening, please join. Okay, the first sentence. As soon as I get up, I go to the bathroom. Second. When? When? 
Yes, when, when I go to work, lock the window and the door. Cierra todas las ventanas y puertas. Before. After. After, sí. After each. No, no que cerrar. Lock all windows and doors. Cerrar las ventanas y puertas. Yes. Lo hacemos después de. What's the meaning? <laughs> Es after after each after oh. I go to work I lock all windows and doors cierro ventana y puerta after I... after 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 two after eat after I eat lunch I usually take a nap okay I take a nap Daniel <laughs> take a nap <laughs> you take a nap you take a nap Daniel mm, no sé <laughs> <laughs> toma siesta ah sí <laughs> Mary. Mary lives when, home. When, when Mary lives home. When? Yes. As soon as. Quizás como la primera, que ahí podíamos ocupar as soon as. Eh. There, is a, there is silence in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Oh, qué okay, en silencio. Todo okay, queda en silencio cuando María se va de la casa. Es pretty, es pretty, una girl pretty, pretty girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Bueno. When, when, when I get up, it's still dark. Todavía está oscuro. Yes. When. W H. H Daniel. I usually take the bus. Mm. When. I usually take the bus. I get to the bus stop. <clears throat> after I after the get to the bus stop. Oh, son, so as soon as tan pronto como llego a la parada de bus. Okay. As soon as. And he always relax. Many always relaxes. Here, when you are near, after you are near. After. Yes, sir. Como un descanso sería, ¿no? Una siesta. Ah, ok. Sería before. No. After. 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 Uh -huh. After. Yo no me eso, ahí, ahí. Como un descanso. Como un descanso. Uh -huh. Mary lives home. There is silence in the neighborhood. Number 
or when, maybe. When okay. Mary leaves home. Sí. Okay. Cuando ella, cuando ella sale, pues queda en silencio los vecindario. Sí. It's very noisy. <laughs> very noisy. <laughs> get up. Number five. Wow. I get up. Yeah. It is still dark. Before. 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 Mm -hmm. Before. 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 Number six, I usually take the bus. I get to the bus stop. As soon as. As soon as. No. As in it? Gabi. Que pena la seis. I shall take a bath, take the bus. For mm. me, it's as soon as. Usualmente toma el bus tan pronto como. Como. Okay. como yes. La parada. Yes, yes, yes. Number three. Tan pronto three. como llega. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Mary always Mary relax. always relaxes into her near when you are near. Mm, yes. When okay. Betty is still very hard. Betty studies very hard. Mm -hmm. She has difficult exams. When? 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 Okay. Number four. Tommy never shows up. You need him. Oh. Um, show up. Show up is como imagino. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. Tommy never, nunca enseña. Cuando... Never shows up. Ah, sería este, after. No. After. No sería for. 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 Sí, que dice que Tommy no es shows up where shows up oh. aparece me aparece nunca se aparece cuando lo necesito when you need him uh -huh. it's okay sounds good Bessie usually eats in a hurry. Before. Yes. Before. Okay. Eleven, I take off my mm. shoes. Oh. En la B, en la 10, bueno. before or after. 
Mm, I think before because she eats in a hurry. Oh, very, huh? Very fast. Uh -huh. Antes que regrese el trabajo. Antes que vaya. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Yes. Go. Don't, don't go out. Don't After go out. you file this document. After you file this document. Go to see your bus. Boss. After you no, finish no, your exam. Bus. bus. Ah, bus. Eh, bus. Uh -huh. Bus. 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 Boss, mm -hmm. and then seven after you finish your exam, and then and then your paper quickly. Before you talk to your boss. Remember. Remember to be oh. nice to him. As soon as you finish lunch, please come to see me. Hi, before you go home, and remove. Remove. Remove your night out. As soon as you finish lunch, please come to see me. Come to see me. As soon as you find the file, and bring, please bring, bring, him, bring, him. bring it here, there, here. When you get home, when you get home, forget when about, you get home, about, your, about your, all your problems. Forget about all your problems. About your problems. Like finish. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Okay. Let's go to the main session. Okay, thank you. Welcome. How do we complete this one? I go to work, lock all the windows and doors. Before or after? After. Before I go to work, before I go to work, I lock all windows and doors. What's the meaning? First, I lock all the windows and doors, then I go to work. Okay, so number three, I eat lunch, I usually take a nap. What is the normal thing? After. 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 Mm -hmm. After I eat lunch, I usually take a nap. So what's the meaning? I finish eating and then I take a nap. Four. Mary leaves home. There is silence in the neighborhood. What do we use? 
Well, let's use a different one because you have like once, once Mary leaves home, there is silence in the neighborhood. Una vez ella se va, hay silence. So once she leaves home, there is silence in the neighborhood. You can use after, as soon as, okay? So I get up, it's still dark. Before. When I get up, it's still dark. Six, I usually take the bus. I usually take the bus. As soon as. As soon as. As soon as. As soon as I, <laughs> I wish, this is in, only in your dream. The reality is that you have to wait a lot <laughs> for the bus, <clears throat> right? Mary always relaxes when you, when are, you near. are near, when you are near, she feels safe. Yeah. Mary, you always relaxes when you're near. Betty studies very hard. When she has difficult exams. Tommy never shows up. Again, when we need him. Bessie usually eats in a hurry. What? Before she goes to work. I take off my shoes. Soon as As soon as I get home. Jerry watches TV. After he finishes dinner. You can have different ones, but that's an idea. Okay, before you go, please finish an open process. As soon as John comes in, please send him to my office. If you are tired, try to relax. Try to relax. Don't go home until you finish your work. Don't. Don't go home until you finish your work. Don't go out. Don't go out. Don't go out to lunch until you are told to do so. After you file this document, go to see your boss. After you finish your exam, hand in your paper quiet. Before you talk to your boss, remember to be nice to him. Hey. Before you go home, remove your name tag, okay? As soon as you finish lunch, please come to see me.
As soon as you find the file, please bring it here. When you get home, forget about all your problems. Okay. Say, do you like working in big groups? And you say, do you like working in big groups? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, you do. Okay. Are you eager to share your ideas? Eager to. So here they put eager about, but it's eager to share your ideas. Are you eager to share your ideas? Teacher, what is eager? Anxious. <laughs> eager is anxious. I'm going to show you Mr. Gogol. Okay. So that you don't say that I'm inventing it, okay? So, let me share it with you. The teacher is inventing now, check. Eager to, eager to learn, eager to learn. So, what does eager to learn mean? Is eager to, infinity, no about. Eager about is a mistake, okay? Why do I tell you? Because I want to criticize the writers of the booklet? No, because I, my obligation is to teach you what is correct, okay? So I don't want to criticize anybody. I want to tell you the truth. So, Eager to share. Do you like working with uh, multitasking people? Okay, teacher, what is multitasking people? People that are doing many things at the same time. Ladies that are eating lunch, putting on makeup, talking to <laughs> you, watching TV. They're watching TV or checking the phone, checking the telephone, talking to you putting on makeup and eating, multitasking. <laughs> Do you like working with multitasking people? Sometimes. Right? Yes, I like. Sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Do you enjoy finishing work early? Yes. Yes, I why enjoy not? finishing work early. Yeah, of course. Do you dislike hanging out with colleagues after work? Teacher, what is hanging out? Spending time with your colleagues. You have your coworkers, people that work in the same company with you. Do you like spending time with them? Okay. Maybe <clears throat> after work, you go to eat pupusas at a pupuseria nearby. Do you like to do that with your colleagues? Yes, right, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's good to do that. But uh, they have right yeah, normally I'm a lonely person. I, I go out alone. I do everything alone. Nobody goes with me. So, but <laughs> young people with young people, old people with old people. Right? So that is the reality. All right, my dear Angelitos, let's go to the attendance. Okay. Attendance. Um, for the people that haven't finished, don't worry, tomorrow I'm going to be checking that. Okay, so tonight, work on that and take your time. Try to finish everything so that everything is concluded 
and then we have no problem. Okay, Adan Antonio Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Edgar Edilson Reyes. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Edwin Alexis Perez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez. Gladys Rubiria Nieto. Jonathan Stanley Pérez. Excellent. Present Hola. teacher. Excellent, nice. José Daniel Cermeño. José Ernesto Alemán. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Germán González. Present. Excellent. Nice. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Miguel Ángel Cortés. And, okay, we have Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. Very good. And Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Today, Miguel Ángel Cortés stays with me. The other people, thank you very much for attending. By the way, I say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your participation. You are an excellent group. It was a privilege to be with you. Good luck in the next course. Continue studying, continue studying. Remember that it's important to, to learn English. It's important and uh, don't give up. You can do it, little by little, little by little, little by little, but you can do it, so yeah. continue doing it, okay? Bye -bye, right. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you thank for you. your time, you, teacher. My pleasure. Thank you very much, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. Everybody. God bless you too. Take care of yourselves. Be oh, good. Mm, thank you. you. Are. <laughs> nice. You are a great teacher. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Very you kind. are the beer. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. See good you. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night, good night. teacher. Good night, my friends. Take care. Be good. See you. Teacher, yes. Can you help me with the uh, homework? Nineteen. 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 Sure. Of course. Okay. Yes. Can you send me the? Eighteen. Can you send 18. me the picture? Sure. Yeah, what problem do you have? Uh, uh, teacher, you are a and no, me da error siempre. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me which one it is. And the, the first question is using bird having. Ah. Having. No sé si ya he explicado hacer usted, pero no. Y eso lo vimos ayer. Um, ok. Ajá. Sh show me, send me a picture, please. Ok, dicho. Ajá. Send me a, sc a screenshot so that I may know how you're doing. Okay. Excellent. 
dando su contacto. Yes. Now, teacher. Entonces le mandé la, la okay. screenshot. I have the screenshot here. Uh -huh. Do we start having two Christmas week off? Okay. Hmm. Eh... Parece que usted le puso paréntesis después de tú, ¿verdad? No. No, no, es la C de Christmas. Ah, es la C de Christmas. Yeah, claro, sí, Christmas. Ajá. Yo creo que el problema ahí es la, el apóstrofe que tiene Christmas. Pero fíjese que yo lo que hice fue copiar. Y pegar. Copy paste. Uh, yes. Copy paste. Ajá. Exciting. And after... Uh, Borré la, la línea F y le, le puse el verbo having. Y la he hecho manualmente también. Y le he quitado ese A dos puntos, sin A dos puntos, con signo, sin signo. Le puso question mark. Yes. yes. Question mark, yes. Uh -huh. El Christmas lo puso con mayúscula. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Christmas. C H R I S D M. I cannot. I cannot see the complete thing, so I only see part of it. So I don't know. But let me see. It says, "Well, let's leave number one. Let's leave number one, and let's see the others." Number two, I prefer getting work. I per, yes, I prefer, uh, ask, prefer. Uh, asking them to work one more week. Ready con asking them. And number two, asking, asking them. And question two. Number two. Mm -hmm. Asking, I prefer asking them to work one more them, week plus a bonus. Asking them. Y la letra B se la vamos a poner siempre, teacher. B, dos puntos. Sí, sí. Do, B, dos puntos, siempre. Ok. B, B, dos puntos, space. No. No. B, letter B, two points. I prefer asking. Asking, teacher. Why? Uh -huh. Asking them. Pedirles que trabajen dos semanas. Give, pay, have, provide, get. Uh -huh. Esos son los verbos que tenemos nomás. Ah, uh -huh. no aparece ask, ¿verdad? No. Give, no. pay. Have, provide, get. Sí, porque no puede ser having, porque having es sin to. A menos que haya error ahí. Pero de todas formas, eh, pruebe, pruebe con having. Pero, por ejemplo, es la prefer. I prefer, I prefer. having. Eh, según the answer que usted mandó, Ajá. getting. Getting. I prefer getting them. To work one, one more with class a bonus. Ah, pero en esa, usted aquí no le puso them. Them. The, Solo dice, I prefer getting to work. But I prefer. Eh, Póngale them. Get, getting them, them. To work. Getting. Getting them to work. To work, to work, to work one more, one more one week. One more week plus, plus a bonus. A bonus. Uh -huh. 
Mm, no. No. Yes. No. No, no. Así. Getting tal cual. I prefer getting them to work one more week plus a bonus. Y pongo el punto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Será que no lleva en la A y los dos puntos? Solo lo demás. Lo he intentado de diferentes maneras. Tisha. ¿Por qué no le pregunta a Aníbal? Él la tiene completa. Aníbal. Uh -huh. No tengo el contacto. Ah, yo lo voy a buscar. En el grupo. Okay. Lo puede, lo sí, puede sí, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, Tisha, porque sí. Eh, de hecho, lo estuve corroborando con las respuestas que usted mandó y están los mismos. E inclusive he cambiado verbos, utilizando otros verbos y no. 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 Voy a preguntar a Aníbal, ¿cómo es? Aníbal. Aníbal López. O Aníbal López, ok, teacher. Porque él los sí. tiene completos. Y también los demás, hay varios que lo tienen completos. Pregúntenle cómo lo hicieron. Tal vez le pueden pasar una captura para que lo pueda terminar. Ok. Thank uh -huh. you, sure, you're welcome. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. Take care. Nice okay. to meet you. Good. Good luck. Maybe.